Well, hey there. Hostinger offers a variety of hosting plans tailored to different needs, whether you're launching your first blog or running a growing business. But which plan should you actually go for? Is a premium plan enough? Should you jump into cloud hosting right away? And is there a type of hosting you didn't even know existed? Let me break it all down for you. First up is shared hosting, the backbone of the hosting industry and a great choice for beginners or small websites. Just take a look at the Hostinger pricing on the screen. Compared to the market average, it's easily one of the most affordable hosting options out there. If you're launching a blog, personal site, or a basic portfolio, these plans give you everything you need without breaking the bank. And despite the low price, Hostinger doesn't skimp on features or resources, which is why I'd rank it among the best shared hosting options on the market. What does shared actually mean? It means your website is hosted on the same server as other websites, sharing the same resources. For small projects, that's usually not a problem. But as you might guess, if one of your neighbors starts using more than their fair share, maybe due to a traffic spike, it can impact your site's performance. The good news? With Hostinger, that risk is minimized. Their infrastructure is designed to isolate projects as much as possible, so your site stays stable even if others misbehave. Got one or two websites you want to host? The premium plan is more than enough. It gives you up to 25 sites, 25 gigabytes of storage, a free domain, weekly backups, and even free domain privacy protection. So you can skip all those annoying spam emails. Honestly, this plan will cover about 92% of you watching. If that's you, go ahead and grab the shared hosting discount using the link below or scan the QR code on screen and happy hosting. So why and when should you upgrade to the business subscription? Well, aside from doubling your resources, you also get NVMe storage, currently the fastest available. On top of that, you can start selling online with Hostinger's website builder, access a free content delivery network, and most importantly, at least for me, get daily automatic backups. If you're planning to run a heavier website, juggle multiple smaller projects, or launch an online business, this is the plan to go with. Next up, if you're expecting more traffic or need better performance, the cloud startup plan is a solid step up. Cloud hosting gives you more control, faster speeds, and the flexibility to scale as your site grows. The best part, it still uses Hostinger's familiar H panel, so it's not much more complicated than shared hosting. The main advantage is that it removes the shared limitations, so your site won't be affected by what others are doing. Cloud hosting also helps prevent downtime. If one part fails, another seamlessly takes over, thanks to its cloud infrastructure. It's ideal for small businesses or growing websites. And honestly, it's a great way to treat your site to something better. I won't bore you with the steps on how to buy Hostinger. It's super straightforward. But I do wanna give props to Hostinger for offering way more payment options than just credit cards. You'd be surprised how many providers still rely on outdated, slow systems. Buying Hostinger can be done in just a few taps from your phone. But before we go further, here's a super quick breakdown of Hostinger pricing explained in plain terms. There aren't any surprise upsells or sneaky extras. Everything you need is already included in the plan you choose. The only tools that might cost extra are the AI logo maker and AI image generator, which use credits. But honestly, most of you won't even need those. Now, like most hosting providers, Hostinger gives you a big discount up front. After that initial term, the price goes up to the regular rate, what's known as the renewal price. So just be aware of that going in. Hostinger's renewal pricing is actually pretty fair compared to the rest of the industry, usually around two to three times the initial rate. What I appreciate is that they're transparent about it. You can see the renewal price clearly listed next to each plan. Just keep in mind once your discounted term ends, your monthly cost will go up, sometimes double or even triple. So it's good to be prepared for that in advance. So here's the deal. If building a website sounds scary, overwhelming, or just plain boring, Hostinger's website builder might be your new best friend. Think of it like digital Lego. No coding, no complicated settings. Just drag, drop, and boom, you got yourself a homepage. The website builder plan is an all-in-one package, meaning you're not just getting the builder, you're also getting hosting, email security, and all that good stuff bundled in. And yes, it's powered by AI. The same kind of AI that helps write your essays or suggest dinner recipes can now build you a custom site in under a minute. Just type in what you want, a portfolio for a graphic designer, a bakery site with online ordering, even a blog where I ran about movies. 
and the AI will handle layout, images, color schemes, and even draft your content. You can still tweak everything afterward to make it truly yours. No matter which plan you choose, Hostinger gives you access to both WordPress and the website builder, so you can switch between them whenever you want. For those who need top tier performance and more customization, it's time to leave shared hosting behind and look at virtual private server hosting. This option is ideal for businesses or advanced users who want dedicated space on a server and don't mind handling a bit more of the technical side. Is it dramatically more difficult than shared hosting? Not necessarily, but it does depend on the control panel you choose. Some are user friendly, while others can feel downright confusing. At least they did for me at first. No matter your choice, expect a learning curve where you'll need to understand exactly what you're doing and why. Here's the thing, VPS doesn't automatically boost your site's performance out of the box, unless you go for the top tier plans. Shared hosting is heavily optimized by hosting, so if you can't match that level of tuning, shared or cloud hosting might actually perform better. The real advantage of VPS is control. If you know exactly what your project needs and want to tailor everything to fit, you'll love it. What I like about Hostinger VPS is that every plan comes with a full feature set, no paywalls. The only difference is how much power and resources you need. And just a reminder, never buy hosting without using a discount. The links are below and they'll save you real money. They exist for a reason. Next up is WordPress Hosting, a specialized plan built specifically for WordPress websites. It's optimized for speed, security, and ease of use, making it a great option if WordPress is your platform of choice. This plan is all about giving you a smoother experience with automatic updates, extra resources, focused on running WordPress efficiently. But, and it's a big but, if you're a beginner comparing shared and WordPress plans, you might not notice much difference right away. That's because nearly every hosting or subscription already includes all the essential WordPress tools. So, while WordPress optimized servers do offer better performance and stability overall, the standard shared plans are already well tuned for WordPress out of the box. That said, if you're planning to run an online store with WordPress, going for a WooCommerce optimized managed plan is a very smart move. Now, we're not quite done. There are a few smaller types of hosting I wanna mention, starting with one for all the gamers out there. Hostinger offers optimized Minecraft servers along with general game server hosting for titles like Counter-Strike 2 or PAL World. With the easy to use game panel, you can quickly set up and manage custom servers for you and your friends. Next up is business email hosting. This is for those who don't need a website but still want a professional looking email like this. Just keep in mind that the first cheaper professional email plan only includes email services, so you'll need to pay separately for the domain name. But if you grab the second plan, the domain name is included for the first year on the house. Honestly, I'd recommend going with shared hosting even if you don't plan to build a website. The price is similar and it lets you create a few domain-based email addresses completely free. But there's actually something new in the world of Hostinger, Horizon, a more advanced version of their AI builder. This tool can create websites, build full apps, and pretty much handle anything web-related. Okay, maybe not everything, but you get the idea. It's what I'd call vibe coding, a conversational, hands-off way to build your site by simply guiding the AI through prompts. It works surprisingly well, though there are still moments where the code logic gets a bit shaky, but it's improving fast. Now, if you're already thinking of five different ideas you'd build with a tool like this, then yep, the discount link is below. If you're unsure about Horizon's practicality, I'll be honest. WordPress or Hostinger's website builder is more than enough for 95% of projects. That said, Horizons is worth trying. They let you test it with a few free prompts. So dip your toes in and see how it feels. In summary, I always recommend starting with shared hosting or the AI website builder if you're new to websites, just to get a feel for what you actually need and what you don't. Go with cloud hosting if you're running a small business or your site is starting to grow. VPS hosting is best for more technical users or larger scale projects. And if you're building with WordPress and want a streamlined experience, WordPress hosting is the way to go. And as you've seen, Hostinger keeps rolling out new tools. So even if you're not ready to buy today, I highly suggest checking out Hostinger Horizons. You might be surprised by what it can do. All right, if you have any questions or wanna share your own pros and cons of Hostinger, drop a comment below. We're always looking to make these videos as helpful as possible, so your feedback really matters. 
If you're looking for a full Hostinger review or need a step-by-step -step guide on how to migrate your website to Hostinger, you'll find it all by subscribing to the channel. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.